Okay, so I am feeling so big right now. Look at this. Ah! What if the world had more? What if I end up having a boy? What if the wind could spread? Okay, you guys, so I am 36 weeks pregnant and I'm starting to freak out because I'm so close and I have not got everything anything ready for the baby i've been ordering things i've been receiving things from my registry and i haven't like really opened anything so i need to do that like now and so today i'm going to wash the baby's clothes and prepare like the essentials like her sleeper the co-sleeper i need to at least have that ready in case i happen to go into labor earlier i started freaking out like this week because yesterday was sunday so i did my groceries by the way i did the grocery shopping and i did pick up and that was just so nice because i take so much time doing the groceries every week on sunday and it just like takes up so much of my energy and time i got my first order pickup today and so far so good everything on my list was added but i'm gonna check it out once i get home and see how i like the quality and the quality was amazing i'm glad i finally started doing that but although i didn't like actually do the shopping yesterday i came home and i started cleaning out the fridge doing a bunch of dishes and bending down and just like doing so much and then i also started cooking dinner like from the moment i walked in the house after the groceries I was non-stop for like an hour and a half and I noticed that like my lower back started kind of hurting. I started getting some pain back there. Not like pain pain, but you know, it's just like you can kind of tell like your stomach is tightening and that's pretty normal, um, especially around this time, I'm 36 weeks and Braxton Hicks are very normal, but it was just getting uncomfortable and usually when I feel that uncomfortable feeling, like the mild cramping and the Braxton Hicks, I try to relax and I drink water, I go pee because all those things usually help. It just kept happening and I think my body just needed me to chill. I don't imagine myself going into labor early, but yesterday made me think like, what if I do go into labor early? Plus I'm not even considered full term yet because I'm not 37 weeks yet. So if I were to go into labor before 37 weeks, I'll be 37 weeks this weekend and I cannot have a home birth because I'm not considered full term. I would have to go to the hospital, which would be crazy. I'm feeling better today. My my husband gave me a back rub like before bed and i swear i feel like he drained so much tension from my back like it just felt so much lighter and so much better let me give you guys a bump date okay so i am feeling so big right now the last time my midwife checked she thinks that the baby's head is right here her like butt is up here and her legs are like this way i told her that i had been feeling a lot of kicks right here and they were very very strong so yeah it makes sense that her head was here her butt is here and her legs are here because whenever she stretches out like it just like kind of hurt i was thinking like, after my husband gave me that massage that helped me relax i started feeling like, a little bit of lower cramping but like in a different way it felt more like just like pressure and i thought to myself maybe the baby's head is dropping and maybe that's why i started feeling this way today <laughs> I have to get the baby's clothes washed today and put away. If she happens to come early, I at least need some clothes for her. And then another thing I started freaking out about was, what if I end up having a boy? <laughs> because I've only had like two ultrasounds or three ultrasounds in this whole pregnancy. And the last one I had was at 20 weeks, which was when they told me the gender. And I don't know, like I just started freaking out because with both of my girls before this i had ultrasounds later on in the pregnancy when the baby was bigger i'm really hoping that it's a girl because i've been getting everything for girl and i'm pretty sure it is a girl but you know there's always that like small tiny percentage chance that it's not we're gonna try to stay calm breathe through this all i have to get all the clothes ready the nursery like needs to be done this week for the most part the crib will be here on wednesday so which is in two days my husband should get that built pretty quickly and then we just kind of got to set things up i mean the nursery is not a pr super priority because the baby's gonna be co-sleeping with us but i still would like to have that done you know that's not something i want to really worry about after the baby is born another thing i need to do is i want to get the car seat installed because my midwife also suggested that i have it installed by 36 weeks just in case like you know like i go into labor early i just want to get that checked out and see where i'm going to put it because we have a two-row car and so the back seat is going to be completely full so i need to figure out like 
where is the best place for the baby's car seat. Let me show you guys all the clothes, <laughs> the clothes that I have so far. The baby so check out this whole disaster going on here. I know. But this huge room here, it's really big room. It's the guest room slash school room. And then I'm going to have the nursery section on this side. And then my office is in here, which is like super messy right now. I just thought that it would be nice to have a crib. The crib is going to go right here. You know, during the day, if I'm doing school with the girls, we can be quiet and have the baby sleeping here, maybe with the sound machine. I need to put curtains up right here. My husband needs to install the rods. And I'm still not sure if I'm keeping that lamp here because I don't know if it's going to go with like the look here. I'm going to show you guys a like nursery tour and reveal when I get it done, which should be hopefully soon very soon my daughter jane the older one she's been putting all the stuff away that i get she just like is so excited I, I mean i'm excited obviously but like i just like get my packages and i just leave them like i don't even open them because i'm not ready to tackle them yet but jane gets so excited to open everything and she puts it away and she opens it up and just looks at it sometimes and it's so sweet i have like things that need to be washed here like swaddles and blankets and clothes and then here's like other little things that need to get taken care of and put away and washed. I honestly forget what I have because I haven't been looking at it. Um, there's diapers down there, change your basket. Okay, so I called the girls because I promised them that I would let involve them in this part because the girls want to be a part of this whole thing. So I have this little basket here that I'm, we're gonna put all the baby's clothes in. Here we have a bunch of clothes and a bunch of things that need to be washed. Oh my God. Okay, so I was struggling trying to figure out if I should buy more of these kind of sleepers because baby's going to be born in June and I just, I've always had babies in the cold time so I don't know if they still need long sleeves and you know, these kind of things to sleep, these sleepers. Um, but I think they do at least at the beginning. So this one's zero to three months. We got this one a while ago, but I wasn't sure if I should buy more newborn like sleepers. Um, but it's gonna have a little bit loose just to be comfy yeah i think this one's so cute this is newborn it's so tiny this one's gonna be a good like pajama These cute little ones that we bought at old navy a while ago and they're so cute these are from my registry what size are these three to six months so this is when she's a little bit bigger so i put this brand mushy i think that's how you pronounce it on my registry because the things on their side are so cute and i love the colors like the neutral colors so these are burp cloths. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were. These these are made with 100% organic cotton. So this is totally like my jam. Look at how cute this is. Some of these are very light and they won't make her too hot. So I can wrap her up in them or just like put them over her. This one came with three and I just love these colors. They're just neutral and beautiful. that clothes washing now the girls helped me as you can see they love helping um now what i need to work on is my breath supply list so i need to have a box for things that i'm gonna need or might need during the home birth midwives obviously provide certain things but some of the things i need are like tablecloth to like protect my bed or my carpet and just like furniture um towels pillowcase washcloths I need uh, Ziploc bags, toilet paper rolls, witch hazel. So I'm going to get this going because I want to get that out of the way because I can give birth in a week <laughs> at home if I go into labor at 37 weeks. This cookie sheet, I think this is what they're going to use to like 
do the wellness check on the baby like when they you know after the whole skin to skin after we've established breastfeeding and all they're going to like you know check the baby and um listen for the heartbeat and all that and i think you're gonna use this flat tray that's what i'm assuming this is for actually <laughs> three large plastic bowls i only bought two because i thought I, ha I only needed two i don't even know if these are large enough i don't even know what they're gonna be used for but now that i think about it maybe it's like for throwing up or something or like to catch placenta but then it's like why would i need three maybe it's just for backup but i'm gonna ask them what what these are for because i don't know if it's really necessary that i buy three because i don't really like plastic first of all and i don't want to keep buying more of something that i'm like don't want in my house you know eight bath towels which i think is a lot here's one two three four so i need to get four more bath towels 12 washcloths which i have them all here there's 12 these are the tablecloths that have like a flannel backing so that the cotton part can you know absorb some of the water we're going to put a couple of these under the birthing pool which we already have the birthing pool here my midwife brought it to me last week um so yeah we have that already some garbage bags then we have the ziploc bags paper towel rolls some hydrogen peroxide and some witch hazel and then a thermometer I'm just not sure if this can be used on the baby too okay so this is so far what i have i almost have everything in here all i need to add is a few more towels and some bed sheets and a pillowcase which i need to wash and then i'm gonna pack it in here and then after that i just need two toilet paper rolls which are downstairs so half of that everything is pretty much packed i also forgot to mention that i need to add menstrual pads in there which i haven't bought but then i remembered that i got my birth box kit delivered so i just want to show you guys a little bit of what's in here this is the kit that's delivered through my midwives they order it through a company that provides like birth kits for home births so this is like some of the stuff that you would normally receive at a hospital kind of the same thing i just already have it ready i thought it was so cute because when i first opened it there's this welcome sign and then there's like the place to put the baby's left and right foot and then like the time the baby was born and all so that we can have um documentation of that and then here we have a liner they sent me the liner so that we can prepare the pool before the midwives arrive and then you know my husband could put this in the pool and then we have the hose so that it can i think it's like a 25 foot hose but my husband still needs to measure and see if this is going to reach from the restroom to where the pool is going to be set up if not he has to buy another one and then we have some gauze sponges just like things you would normally find at a, in the hospital. They sent me the Harry bottle. So I'm glad that I didn't even realize that they were gonna send me all these things because I was so close to ordering one. We got the Harry bottle there. We got some of these pads that go under. They're kind of like those pee pads that dogs have, but you know, the ones that they have at the hospital too. And then here's some gloves. It says sterile gloves. We have a few of these. And then, these are, oh, I didn't even know it said this. It says on a row now to find other items wrapped inside. Let's see. Oh, okay. So we have a measuring tape and lube. <laughs> That's funny. And these are actually the, those, you know, those underwear that they give you after you give birth. So I'm glad they gave me those too, because I was going to order some. And they gave me these and i was like oh they gave me baby diapers and then i pull one out i'm just like this is not a baby diaper this is huge and then i opened it up and then i realized it was a diaper for me ah! so when we opened this I, I opened it around the kids and my husband look at this ah! and it has like the thick like pad right here for like after birth i was like a little bit embarrassed for some reason i was like this is kind of embarrassing like I'm, i got diapers for myself but like obviously it's not really embarrassing it's just part of the process my husband was like we should <laughs> he's like we should have a diaper party and we should all wear diapers like the family like me and the girls and him and i thought that was so funny i don't even know what these are oh these are like the under pads i guess we got more 
And then we get, oh, this is the perineal cold pack for, you know, the cooling ones. Wow, it's been so long since I've had a baby. So I got two of these. And here are the menstrual pads. So like, guess, oh no, are they menstrual pads? They look like menstrual pads. Yeah, it says liner. So I'll put some of these in my birth kit or my other birth box. And in here, this is the fingerprints box so that I can take the baby's, I mean, feet footprints, I send it to wherever it needs to be sent. Okay guys, so I am in the middle of making dinner and I'm making some chili today for dinner and I'm going to make some cornbread. I have this cornbread mix and sprouts that I'm going to whip up in a bit. guys so it is the next day i didn't get to finish yesterday because it got kind of late and then i was like super duper tired yesterday but right now we're actually gonna go and install the car seat so i'm curious to see how it's going to be with three car seats in a row so let's go figure it out right now okay so we bought the graco snuggle ride 35 light alex so we bought this one because it is like supposed to be smaller in width and we need smaller width because we have three car seats now so let's see how this goes. Okay. Yay, it clicked, right? Yeah. Okay, now try to lift it out. It didn't come out. Oh my gosh. Is it me or is it, it does it seem like it's leaning against her? It does look like it's leaning. Okay, so here we have the little test run. We got Jane with her booster, her new booster, baby in the middle, and Julia and her car seat. It, your doll. But it's so hard to like put the seatbelt on and everything it's kind of squished. tricky for jane to put her seatbelt it in. takes like a five minute or a we kind of cleared up here the girls helped me so much and i'm gonna show you guys so this was all like not like this so we put some diapers here we have newborn size we have a bunch of these wipes here the water wipes and since these drawers are the smaller ones i'm putting like the smaller items and so we got her hair bows, we got a few pairs of shoes back there. We have washcloths, muslin blankets, we have some socks there. We have like a random bib that we were given. This drawer, we have the newborn size clothes here and the zero to three months. It kind of looks like a little bit, but these drawers are very deep. So there's a few things stacked up here. I probably still need to buy more, maybe zero to three months, for sure zero to three months because newborn, I know they won't last in it for so long, but yeah, there's still also some things that are coming in the mail. Okay, and then here we have more blankets, swaddles, Muslim swaddle blankets. We have receiving blankets, more of a thick blanket, and then here are the extra changing table um, covers. So we don't have so many thick blankets because you know, she's gonna be born in the summer and then we keep the, the house at a good cool temperature. So we only have one thick one so far, but I still have more that are coming in the mail for that as well. And then uh, here we have like the older clothes, like three to six, six to nine. Um, not so many because we are literally starting from scratch with this baby. I don't have like any more clothes from when the girls were babies. So that would have been helpful if they were closer in age. And then here we just have random things. I have the birth pool liner there, the hose for the birth pool, and then just like random samples and also just like instructions and things that I might um, reference later. And then here I have the changing table. Here's like the one I was telling you where this is like a cover that I can remove. 
and then i'm going to load this up with more diapers i have some baby wipes here i have this um sound machine this travel size one that we're keeping in here as well and then here i have the mirror that is going to go here and, and then, then i'm gonna put this shelf yeah and here. those are like wooden shelves that are, that are going to go like here as well and so then I have a couple more things that I need to wash downstairs and then I need to take these uh, bottles. bottles and pieces to go boil and sanitize. What were you saying, Julia? We put shelf and then put like a vase of flowers. Yeah, that would also, be pretty. I for sure want to put a hang like a plant up here somewhere. Like for sure I want like a big plant here. I don't know if the lamp is gonna stay there, but I for sure want a big plant there for the like a air purifying plant and then maybe like a hanging plant like on the shelf. And then I need to get rid of that baking soda that we were using to clean the carpet uh, a few days ago. And then here's a carpet that I'm not sure if we're going to use it for the baby because it's not as soft as I wanted it to be. I wanted it like a softer one so that the baby can, you know, hang out there during the day sometimes and play. If I don't end up using that rug for this area, I'm either going to use it for this side over here or I think it would look so, so pretty under the dining room table. I think it would look really nice in there, but the only problem is that, you know, we have kids and then food falls very often. So I hope that cleaning it won't be a big problem. I think with this kind of carpet, it should be fine because it's like very short. Mm -hmm. 